Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss named arguments in C Sharp. C Sharp provides a feature where we can pass the argument for a parameter with its name rather than the position of the argument. And this feature is called named argument. Here I have a method called print employee detail, which has three parameters where the first one is for name, second one is for age, and the third one is for employee ID. So when we pass the argument for a parameter, then we need to pass the arguments in the same sequence as they have positioned in the parameter list of a method. Which means first I need to pass the value for the parameter name and then for the age and at last the value for employee ID. And let's say if I try to change the sequence of the argument, then you can see it gives the error that you cannot convert an integer to string because the first parameter in the parameter list is of type string. And we have passed the integer in the argument. So this gives the error that we cannot convert an integer to a string. Now, when you don't know the sequence of the parameters, but if you know the name of the parameters, then you can pass the named argument in any order. And to pass the named argument, you can type the parameter name, colon, and then provide the value for the parameter. Similarly, you can pass the named argument for other parameters also. You can see now this is statement not giving any error because we have provided the named argument where we don't need to follow the sequence order. When we use named arguments, then it also improves the readability of the code where we can identify which argument represents which value. In this example, I have two integer type variables. So if I pass the named argument, instead of sending the arguments in sequence, then this improves the readability of the code and reduces the confusion. If I'm using named arguments, then I can pass them in any order. And if I run it, then you can see it printed the employee details in the console without any issue. Now, we can also pass the named arguments along with the positional argument. Here, I'll pass the name and age as the positional argument and employee ID as named argument. And if I run it, then you can see it again printed the employee details in the console. So when we pass both types of argument together, then we need to make sure that the positional argument should be at the correct position or sequence. Let's say if I pass the employee ID as the named argument in second position, and after that, if I pass the argument for age, as a positional argument, then it gives the error that the named argument is used out of position, but followed by an unnamed argument. So we can only pass positional arguments with a named argument when the named argument is not followed by the positional argument. Currently, we have a positional argument for age, which is followed by the named argument. Now, if I change this to a named argument, then you can see now there is no error because there is no positional argument followed by a named argument. And let me run it again. You can see it printed the employee details in the console. So we always need to make sure 
that when we use a named argument with positional then the argument position should not change for the positional argument here if i move the position for name parameter then also it will give the error that the argument is out of position and followed by an unnamed argument so positional argument should always maintain the sequence order whether we have given all positional arguments or a mix of named and positional arguments i hope you like this video put your comments in the comment box and also please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you